Good afternoon, everybody. Today I'm going to feature two of my steel steeds, my Trek single track. It's a 930 with True Temper Ox tubing, and this is a 1995. It's a 21 speed, uh, full Shimano STX Grupo uh, calipers, and I don't know why I keep saying calipers, um, cantilever brakes, rock shock fork that still works. Um, just a really cool bike, a pretty iconic bike. Uh, frame is scraped up a little bit, but you know, overall the paint's in okay, um, condition. But, uh, I didn't buy it for the paint. I bought it because it's an old steel bike in beautiful working order. Um, I was going to take the bar ends off because I already ordered some, um, some new grips, but I think the bar ends just really help with the short bars. So uh, I think I'm going to leave it just the way you see it. Uh, this way it stays period correct. The only thing that got upgraded were the pedals, seat post, put on a Lazine bottle cage, and a seat bag. Tires are in great condition. Um, they are old Bontragers. They look like old Raptors, but they are Bontragers. Um, the derailleur shift beautifully. It has a new chain and a new rear cluster. Okay, the Gary Fisher. This is a 1997 Gary Fisher. Also an American-made frame. Uh, this one was designed by Gary Fisher himself uh, in California. And it's a 4130 chromoly. I don't know what chromoly it is, but it does uh, say 4130. This is a lower end Grupo. It's a Shimano Alivio, I believe is how you pronounce it. This one has uh, XT pedals, um, brand new chain, brand new rear cassette, brand new tires, brand new saddle. This is Grip Shift 21 speed. Um, I really prefer the thumb shifters or the trigger shifters, but. Uh, the grip shift on this one still worked. The grips are in excellent condition, so somebody may have replaced those at some point. Um, and this bike just rides beautiful. Both these bikes come in, um, the Gary Fisher comes in a little over 26 and a half pounds, and the Trek single track comes in at 26 and a half pounds. So that's killer weight, because you know, those are really good tubes. And uh, they look so similar. I mean, the geometry is everything. Um, the, the Gary Fisher looks a little taller because the head tube's a little longer. Uh, but they're both the same frame size if you measure the seat tubes. Um, I love them both. The rock shock on the Gary Fisher uh, has been rebuilt. And that's why that rock shock looks so sweet. And it's got brand new decals on it and everything. So that rock shock looks really tight i really like the way that came out the rock shock on the gear on the trek 930 uh got a couple new decals but uh has not been rebuilt so i uh, still gotta do that see what's inside there there's good rebound on both of them uh good suspension still um just been fiddling with them today trying to figure out what i'm going to actually do with them um you guys all know the gary fisher you know that's a keeper um, uh, she's pretty much flawless for being her age. She's in really beautiful condition. This one, she's got a lot of battle scars, um, uh, but that adds to its, uh, uniqueness. And, uh, I like the patina. I like a bike that looks like it's actually been used. Uh, and this bike has definitely been used. So guys, if you have any questions on the Trek single track, 1995 or the Gary Fisher, 1997, please let me know. Talk to you all soon.